Hi, boys and girls. Um, today, I am sharing uh, some instructions for a math game uh, that is very similar to one we were already playing, um, but it's in reverse. It's called reverse four in a row. Uh, and you may be familiar with four in a row, and you may have played it, and it's been working okay. Uh, one of the challenges of four in a row is that we have multiple tabs, and we're kind of bouncing between them, and it's been really tough to play. So I'm trying to work out a slightly different version of that same game, uh, which is much, very much like Connect 4, uh, except uh, what we're going to be doing is playing it in reverse. Uh, we are going to be thinking of the products we know and trying to get four in a row. So here is how we play it. Uh, we are going to make um, turns uh, or play our turns by making um, products with two factors. And they are factors that are one through nine, single digit factors. So if you have the first turn, let's say you are red <clears throat> and you have the first turn, you get to move both of your uh, both of the game pieces that are at the bottom of the board. So let's say, for example, I am uh, playing as red, and I'm going to choose um, one number is six, and another one that is, yeah, like four. I'm going to keep it at four. And I am then going to look for the product of six times four. And that is 24. And I see 24. So I'm going to take my red piece and cover up 24, just like that. And that's how I play the first turn. Now, the second turn is very different. The second turn, you can only, and the second and all the rest of the turns, you can only play your color token at the bottom. Okay, so if I'm now green, I'm going to need to use this six here because the red piece is covering the six. So there is some strategy in what kind of moves you could make. And so I am going to think about what times six do I want to get a product uh, for that is going to be in possibly this area if I want to block my opponent or if I want to start my own row. So let's say I want to do hmm, my own row. I'm going to look around and I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to do 36. I'm going to do 6 times 6. So I have to keep the red one there and I'm only allowed to move the green if I am the green player. And so now I have six times six, and I'm going to take my token, and I'm going to cover it up, and now I have that piece played, okay? Now, back to the first person, player one, who's red, they get to move the red token along the bottom and have to keep the green one where it is. So I'm going to play the six, or I'm going to keep the six, so six times another number, and look, I see a 42. So I'm going to do six times seven, and now I can cover up the 42 and start working on a diagonal. And then the green person, or player two, uh, can then make a move, and I have to use the red seven, and so I'm looking around at my board, and I see, ooh, a 35 right here. I could block that piece, or I could look around here and see, ooh, a 49. I am going to play 49. I'm going to move my green piece, and now I can put a 49 there. And now we're working on our own rows. So back to red, and red has to play the red, uh, green 7. So I'm going to move my red 7 to a 5, and I'm going to take that 35 and cover that up. 
like that. And now the green player's turn has to use the five. So I'm going to look around and say, oh, look, there's a five right there. So I am going to play five times one and be able to cover up that piece here or that square there with my game piece. So I hope this makes sense. I hope we get the idea. We can win by either doing a diagonal, a horizontal, or a vertical row of four. So if we wanted to just kind of demonstrate the way it looks. So this right here would be a winning combination. This right here would be a winning combination. Or we could also have one going across or horizontally. All right. Now, the last thing that we're going to be, I'm going to be pointing out, is that I made this game board um, to be available for everyone to join on the same uh, Google Slides document. And we will just choose a certain game board that isn't being used. So I might assign you a board, or I might uh, let you just find one with your partner. Uh, it all depends. And there's only going to be two players uh, per, um, per game board. So you might have um, maybe a team of two playing against one, or we're going to have one versus one. All right. And that should work out pretty well. And if you need to make more pieces of um, the pieces along the side, you can select one and you can press uh, control C and control V to paste. And now you have an extra board uh, piece for the board. If you don't like the color, you could highlight that color and choose, say, a different one. Uh, so there's a lot of choices, a lot of options there. And I hope this is a fun way to practice our multiplication facts because upcoming in Unit 4, our multiplication facts are going to be critical. So happy, well, today is Monday, but happy any day that you're watching this. And I uh, look forward to playing this game with you soon.